With inflation on the rise, bankers Goldman Sachs are telling their customers to have a larger part of their asset base in gold. Gold's presently around $1,800 an ounce. Goldman Sachs have forecast that uh, it should have no problem at all breaching the $2,000 an ounce um, mark again pretty soon. But what are you guys going to do in relation to coins? Hey guys, it's Numistaka here and welcome back to the Numistaka channel. Today we're going to ask the question, are coins an investment? Yep, are coins an investment? With MarketWatch reporting that rare coins are outperforming other asset classes and uh, you only have to look at the recent price change on rare coins shown by the uh, well-established PCGS rare coin report to realize there is a lot of interest uh, in hard assets, coinage assets, um, and there has been over the last year or so during COVID. It's been reported that quite a number of very, very high-end rare coins have been bought by hedge funds uh, to just put away as an asset class and take out again in a number of years and see what has happened to values at that time. But the big question is for normal collectors, regular mortals who are putting their hard-earned money into the coin market, uh, are the coins that they're buying an investment? This coin sold recently for, what, um, $22 million, including buyer's premium, the uh, pretty much unique 1933 double eagle. Um, and it seems that coins at this kind of level have a market of their own, and it's not really a collector's market at all. So should regular collectors be seduced into thinking that the coins they are buying day by day have the potential to do as well as some of these headline coin values that uh, pundits are using to show that the coin market is a, a kind of investment market. So are coins uh, an investment? Well, traditionally, investments have been the things that provide a, a return, uh, a return on an investment. You know, some kind of um, appreciation, some kind of interest, some kind of regular income. And while we have been sitting here throughout the world in a low interest economy, uh, that whole concept of return has kind of been turned on its head. You know, taking a look at uh, alternative investments for which there is a great interest at the moment. You know, everything from um, fine wines to um, banknotes to uh, whiskey, uh, coinage, brandy, rum, you know, really anything uh, that can be traded to potentially make money apart from uh, currency. It seems to me that with traditional investments, you need to have quite a large amount of liquidity in a market, lots and lots of people making a market, you know, and a pretty stable market as well, where you can rely on a particular price being achieved. And I am not sure in any way that the coin market really meets that. Certain coins have a general upward momentum over a long period of time, but the coin market is susceptible to, uh, to fashion, to an element of manipulation sometimes, and it uh, can you know, particularly for higher end coins, be fairly illiquid to the extent that in order to get out of that investment, there may only be a very, very few buyers and only a few specialist auctions that can meet that liquidity over a period of time. Uh, it's very different at other, other parts of the coin market, for example, the bullion market, and uh, you'll ha you have a much, much more um, kind of market, a bigger number of market makers, greater liquidity in that kind of area, and the ability to buy and sell and trade, um, you know, in a much easier way. And maybe those kind of parts of the market come closer to being considered 
uh, a kind of general investment market rather than something which is a bit more alternative and esoteric. It seems to me that in many ways it's more sensible to treat the coin market as a hobby, um, a hobby not an investment in the traditional sense. You know, I think that there is um, an argument for having uh, precious metals make up, you know, between 12 and 20 percent of somebody's overall portfolio and net worth. But it's not really as an investment, that's really as a hedge against uh, generally rising prices or the fall in value of fiat currency. But, um, you know, it is an investment, but it's kind of not an investment at the same time because it is a hedge and doesn't provide interest in the general sense of the word. So if the coin market is a hobby rather than an investment, what is the impact of that? One of the great strengths of the um, coin market, you know, at its different levels, from bullion through to numismatic, is that it is one of the best ways of saving money that I know because it combines the need that people have to buy and accumulate things with the, um, the ability to ensure that those purchases go towards something which is very positive. And uh, since I've been involved in this in a slightly bigger way since, you know, probably 2013 or so, um, you know, I have really, really noticed just how good uh, coin collecting is as a fun hobby that can help accumulate, you know, sometimes pretty large sums of money that would otherwise have gone spent, it would have been spent, would have gone unnoticed. And, uh, you know, the interest and, uh, and, and kind of hobby element of this shouldn't be taken lightly. It's a very positive thing. Uh, you know, people who are involved in this tend to, you know, after a while of trading between themselves and spending, you know, the money that they would uh, otherwise have spent on, you know, maybe alcohol, tobacco, uh, cars, um, consumer electronics, drugs, whatever they're spending their money on, it then goes to something positive and it accumulates over time and allows sometimes some quite large purchases to be made, which can then act as a kind of uh, cushion uh, or a nest egg uh, relating to some of the you know, bad things in life that can happen uh, during a lifetime, whether it's health or um, bereavement or, um, you know, losing a job, uh, divorce, any of those things that are part of people's life stories can be cushioned to a greater or lesser extent by the, um, the coins that people have collected. So whilst those coins and the collecting of coins is not really an investment as such, you know, it is certainly a wealth producing hobby um, based on everything that I've seen of this particular market. You know, and I've seen people from all walks of life who started off down this road, road with pretty much nothing go from you know, an ounce of silver in a round to a collection of 20 or 30 sovereigns worth many thousands of pounds. And so if you are sitting there thinking, well, should I buy a house? Should I invest in a buy-to-let flat? Uh, or should I go out and buy, you know, some silver bullion? My advice to you would be that once you have already bought the house, once you have a portfolio of other assets, then clearly there is a place in a general investment strategy for items like this made of silver and gold and other precious metals or more numismatic coins carefully purchased. There is a place for them, but they're not necessarily the principal kind of investment. There are other things that will yield a, uh, a safer, more consistent return over a period of time than in so-called investing in coins. But at the same time, I think that they are certainly 
uh, an important part of an overall investment strategy. And, uh, you know, and I'm very pleased that I went down that particular route. But uh, I did it at a certain time of my life where I already um, you know, made great inroads into paying a mortgage off of the house that I live in and uh, looking at uh, buy-to-let investments and trying to secure some kind of other uh, income stream uh, for the future. But uh, then, after that, I think that collecting coins is possibly one of the best ways of uh, you know, enjoying the passage of time, uh, speaking to interesting people across a whole load of different sections of life, um, you know, and, uh, and it makes it a hobby and a pastime that also has some potential. So the big question is, what do you guys think? You know, what is your uh, view on this? Do you think coins are an investment? Uh, are rare coins an investment? Are bullion coins an investment? You know, what is the, um, you know, the, the position of these kind of investments in your strategy? Um, and, uh, you know, is it something you would recommend to other people? You know, have you bought these types of coins and lost a lot of money? Uh, have you made money? Uh, have you been able to increase your wealth as a result of holding on to assets like this? And uh, it would be very interesting to hear from you guys in the comments below uh, what your own um, experience has been with these types of sometimes very expensive uh, assets. So guys, if you want to encourage me to make more videos like this, then please uh, hammer that like button like mad and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber.